Gal Jones knows where the food is. <laughs> Actually, uh, for various reasons. Well, no, not what you think. Not what your president would tell you. Like outside, you know, food can kill you and all this and that. This is the most natural food. However, for me, although I love these blackberries, so they are so cool. But blackberries have a lot of oxalates in them. Come to find out. And I'm on my oxalate thing now. Uh, I want to get three. I want to get three. I want to get three. It's a good food. Day. It's a good day for me. I love my tribe. I love where I'm at. Oh, look. So, you guys, you see? You see, you see, you see? There goes the dragonfly, the green dragonfly. It's a green, green. Oh, hey, baby. You posed. Look at you. Thank you. No. Where's the food at, honey? Where's the food at? You posing again. You posing again. You are seriously. Animals know who. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Look up, Val. It's right. How much? I'm, I'm, I can't get through there. That's way over there. I don't feel like being that explored, that exploring right now. But uh, this two, you're good. All you need is two. Mmm. Oh my God, they're so good. No, I want some more. <laughs> Mother Nature for eyes. I love my tribe. Whatever you feel like my tribe is. Wait. I know all these have been picked up. Because I saw a couple of young ones come through here before. So I know the kids come here first. There goes a dragonfly. There goes another dragonfly. Go ahead, baby. Yeah. Are there, uh... And there's some on the trail at, uh, I haven't found them yet. At the Ritz at Walking Trail. So if you know where I'm at, you know where I'm at. So, if you ever feel like you're starving... Tenuous times right now, reminding you Mother Nature always provides. Mother Nature gives back, mankind not so much, but that's why I love my tribe. They're like Mother Nature. They they provide those who support them. What is the support supposed to do? There we go. Oh, I saw that. The pine tree says hello. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to pick out the camera on me. I'm thinking I'm getting it on. Uh, Let's take the camera off of me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of these, all of these, they'll be ready to eat in about another week or so. I hear you over there. I see you. Bounce Nature Walk. You're not quite ready yet. Three. Okay, the crow says you got three. <laughs> we got. We don't want to sit today. Let's go into the shed. Cause I have something to say. Your girl's been through a lot, and I hear the word for today might be vindication. There is no vindication when people continue to commit the same things that's got them and you in the situation. Devils don't change. Devils remain the same. You can pray till the cows come home. But devils don't change. You know what changes? You. You have to change. You have to change the things you do. You have to change the moves you make. You have to change your energies. And you have to like not play with snakes. I don't mind the snakes that crawl. It's these two-legged snakes. They're the worst of all. Oh, there goes the birdie. They got heron flying through. I love herons. I really do. They are wonderful. Egrets or whatever. So I was saying, and you sit right, you were right across from me. You right there. You parked right across from me. That's Mother Nature saying, see baby? 
We got you. We see. We got you covered. Don't we always? Yes, you do. Now, people want to say, I'm Delulu. Because, yeah, if you look and find out, my father died in 74. His physical body. My mother died in 84. Her physical body. My husband was murdered. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying 11. Well, okay, I think because November 11th is something else. Or oh, November 7th. I don't know. But really November 2nd. The whole month of November is just as blurry to me. It starts in August, see? Separation issues. Separation issues because during the uh, summertime when I was in school, I was kind of like a latchkey kid when uh, my mom and dad you know were working I stayed with my aunt and uncle while I was in school and then I'd stay home and be with them most of the time in the summer like I you know and uh and don't think that my parents left me behind no they were very active in my life they were very active in my life they were very active when I when I was in my sports when I ran track when I did things they were very active they were there cheering me on my aunt cheered me on from home because she was, uh, what you call it, agoraphobic. She was afraid to go outside of her home too much. And I understand why, because, you know, you live around family, and you, and you, she knew that many people in our family weren't right. Deep Creek Road, there may be a whole bunch of things that you hear about Deep Creek Road in Fayetteville. I did not know that people were afraid to get on Deep Creek Road until I got into college, because, you know, people literally were afraid that you'd get murked on Deep Creek Road, like they're afraid when you go down to Merck, you get murked on the Merck, and you get murked on Deep Creek Road, and these are the environments I grew up, but I was in a bubble of protection and love, so I know what real love is, and I know what real protection is, and now I realize why my aunt was very, wow, wow, four of them, that could be my aunt right there, <laughs> sitting in a queue. You got it, baby. You always do. The reason why she kept me from a lot of people was because she knew what ratchet ass, ratchet ass family could do. And let's talk about some ratchet ass people in the military, too. You know, you got some people working in VA who never worked, uh, who never who, it's like, it's like people, alright, Wasp, it's like people who want to make decisions for soldiers, but you don't know the cost of what it really is to be a soldier. You have never fought one war. You have never taken on one tour. You have no idea what they have to endure. And this goes for uh, actors and actresses and rappers too. Oh, so you grew up in the hood. Bitch, so did we. So what the fuck is that about? You know, what makes you better than anybody else? You had a hit song that you kiss somebody's ass or suck somebody's dick, you know, to, to, to roll up your wealth. And then you get mad when you find out most of you going down on legal charges anyway. Didn't I warn you, but you know what you wanted to play. Somebody wanted to fair game me and still they don't know how to give that up. That's what says Scientology, whoever you be, you need to clean your motherfucking house because chef ain't me. Ain't Twitch, bitch. Someone doesn't want me to speak, but you know me. I got a mouth and I know how to use it and that's it. You want me to use my mouth another way. Uh, bite that shit off, okay, and feed it to the hogs. Ugh, Valjean's doing therapy. I got more paperwork, but first batch is done, and I'm thankful. Thankful, thankful, thankful for my legacy. My husband was the perfect husband for me because he actually through him more than anybody personally I learned, you know, what being in a ratchet ass abusive family and addictions, how addictions can be. Because I would not have, I was protected a little bit from that by my immediate family. That they, hey, Birdie, they knew, but they didn't want that from me. And, you know, once I got into radio and the in entertainment industry, I'm very good at what I do. I'm, in fact, I'm incredibly good at what I do. You see me spitting out this poetry the way I do. I mean, I was remembering I supported everybody's open mic. But when I did shows, did they support me right? No. I've given to everybody, even when I got the one, just one PP loan, I supported everybody in their business. My family, like if my family would like have bought one book, 
one CD, one T-shirt, but not a goddamn one of them. There's 50,000 of them, and they never bought, they never invested a dime in me, for the most part. Oh, yeah, I come and speak to the church, and they give me some food, and what? Oh, yeah, it'll feed your food, but now, you know, what I know what people do with food, it's like, y'all can keep that food. But I supported you all financially and gave you promotion, which is, it costs, it's called advertising. Advertising costs, it really does. And I do that easily because I'm good at that. But you always have one person in the family who is better than all of them, who really has real talent, God-given talent, innate talent. You have a different type of talent than they all do. And they pull that Cain and Abel shit on you, that Judas energy. Yep. Most of them are preachers or preacher's kids or whatever they do. They're like the Bronner brothers. That's all I'm going to say on that. So, anyway. When I pull my energy back, that's when people went cray. Try to paint me out like I'm cray. Hey, I see your lights on. Are you recording me today? Good. Record everything I say. Please record me. Record every word I say. Monitor me. Because I need people monitoring me. Because if the wrong person comes out or comes up I know I am I do this all I do this automatically right <laughs> I don't even be realizing I don't even be realizing I, 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 I start tapping you know you know when she starts tapping her emotions are going in she's going in my friend go in you got to know when to go in and you got to know when to come out and for the record June is black music month First and foremost for me, before you put some labels on it like you tried to label me, why must everybody, what did, did I see uh, uh, Quinta Brunson did it like, like people be gay? Remember when I was supporting Ab Abbott Elementary, okay? Remember when I was supporting Orlando Jones? Remember when, I remember a lot of things, I really do. And y'all had that look like, you know what, and maybe they trapped you, whoever they be, these wonderful gatekeepers. Uh, could it be the Illuminati? You dare not say that word. No, bitch, you better not. You dare not fuck with me. There's good ones and there's bad ones. The bad ones need to be rooted out. You know what? You rolled up on the right, bitch. You want to play me for clout? You want me to be like Twitch? Kill myself in a hotel room? Or you want me to be like the, uh, the, um... Miss America, Miss USA, whatever, who jumped off the, who jumped off, yeah, jumped off the building in New York. You know what? When you, this one thing, you mess with grown people, but when you want to mess with these kids too. So I started looking at these military brats, and I, and I keep telling you, when these parents catch the facts of what some of you have been done, you don't even know. Reminding you, we're legal guns, women. One is for shooting. One is for fun. By the way. J. Cole, I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay, you know what? Do me, bro. Do you? This is the last time I will ever mention your name. I will not promote not one damn thing that you or your whole team does. There is no more love for people who want to play thug on me. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not accept apologies. There is no vindication for liars who will do anything for the money. See, I get it. I get why you do what you do. I get why y'all did what you did. But you mess with the wrong kids. You have no conscience. False prophets are who? Looks like you are a false prophet too. And by the way, that was the worst ass. Those were the worst ass bars of a rap. Man, you were doing better than that in uh, 2002. What is going on? Anyway, I'm paying attention to everything. People don't realize that I, when I, I listen, like you could you could have said a word, or you could have said a name, and I picked up on it. My mind and my I have it's 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 not a photographic memory. It's just a very 
deep awareness of focus. I don't know. It is what it is. It's just me being me. But there's certain things I pick up on certain cues. That's why I can tell, by the way, you know, and you can tell, like, when it happens to the people who are playing with you, when all of a sudden they go black. Like, friends, I, you know, when I mean go black, I don't mean, I don't mean like, go black as in black, because everybody wants to be black, but nobody wants to be black. Everybody wants to be Val Jones, but nobody wants to be Val Jones or live like Val Jones. Y'all wanted to try to get me so bad to, uh, you wanted to get me out of my zone. You just knew we're going to force her to a situation where she has to do some OnlyFans or she's going to need a roommate or somebody to help her. No. I'm good doing shit on my own. Independent girl. My mom and my dad taught me how to live alone if I have to. Real soldiers, kid. Trust me, military brats, we're very cliquish. But when it comes to us personally, we know how to handle our shit personally. We're not like, you know, these nepo brats or these project gang gang gangs you roll up on gangs and we gonna force you in your game it's really crazy how people with money do the same but you had money and you did absolutely nothing you learned nothing from the matrix you learned nothing from the bible you learned nothing from what the rainbow is can the rainbow be the rainbow again without all this narrative shit i'm just saying you got kids growing up thinking the rainbow is one thing and they don't even know like you know you could have gotten you know one of the little light bright you know uh horses or something like that and sparkle farts, farts and that was your logo but no you wanted to take something very biblical and spiritual and uh or funny i mean it was it's cool like with lucky charms and and uh with all that but y'all wanted to take it to a whole other level just to do harm just to mess with people's minds i swear if any of you come up in my face i will personally kill you the next time i can't say that i won't i don't know what i would do i just black out and then i wake up and you know <clears throat> i end up here reading you but i'm around my tribe and i'm thankful very thankful you know what she's grounding she's grounding mommy says sit your ass on the ground yes ma'am mm. sit on the ground girly this is me doing me oh see this is uh urban muse art over war thank you chris smith i don't know how much you caught up in the tea but you know what thank you for when you sent this shirt out you, dealing business with you you handle that very professional so i was impressed with that you deal business with the others you might not get you might not get none of that you may not get no t-shirt you may not get your chain you may not get nothing that's because these people are lame i don't even want to talk about certain misfits who who are who, who are literally you are you you know what Santa's not coming to save you from the Isle of Misfit Toys. Y'all can go ahead and play with yourself and play with all the other little girls and boys that y'all screwed up. Am I wrong? Am I lying? Put me on a lie detector test, but I demand one for you, too. You all have messed up, and you, one way or another, are going to pay for what you do. Mommy says, look at the flowers. They're not here. You see families and nature and two little white butterflies that was so where you go you went behind the tree you literally went behind the tree where did you go or did you go off into a portal i don't know that was wild you literally like got the okay anyway You know, you know you can make a drone out of anything, but no, but uh, nature has its own drones. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Anyway, that's all I had to say. Thank you to the people who are really helping me. I appreciate you in every way. Thank you to you know who you are. I do remember you. If I had a type, it would definitely be you, and I have a type. <laughs> but you know, and and it's and it's this: military wives, or 
military husbands because your wife may serve in the military. So you're doing OnlyFans to make money. Your person is in the military. There should be, I, I know that they're not, don't even hardly enough. Military, the real people in the military don't hardly get enough pay for what they do okay. But here's the deal. Making money the easy way. When you do these OnlyFans and this stuff like that, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. And then you mess your own shit up. Don't don't be like these celebrities. They could give a fuck about you in reality. They want you for their simps and stands. All these things are scams. You know, uh, I want you to be a representative. You can represent our t-shirt. You can represent our, con our company. You can represent. And then they use you. And they use your picture and make money off of you but you don't see a dime or you do, or, or you get very very few coins and then it's the only fan thing this destroys lives if you got a husband or wife that doesn't mind you doing only fans that won't be a husband or wife for long that's not a lifelong goal that's not a lifelong uh that's not lifelong marriage goals that's like you know fuck boy and fuck woman goals that's just like somebody wants to get entertainment goals now maybe you're a swinger maybe y'all into that swinger life see when people okay it's, it's, it's this when people try to force you to be a swinger i do not do that when people try to force you to be gay or bi i do not do that when people try to force me to do anything Forcing me to do something is an automatic pushback for me. Automatic. My mommy and daddy didn't even force anything on me. And they love me like more than anybody. If there was a God, it would be my parents. So my God loves and protects me. I'm not afraid of my God. I respect my God. I respect my parents as it should be. So you literally think that they're going to let you ratchet ass hoes fuck over me and you not feel the wrath oh go ahead and think in your mind go ahead and continue to laugh laugh now cry later mommy need a box baby need a box daddy need a box whole goddamn family need a box <laughs> keep messing with military brats military all y'all gonna need a box you know what yesterday I just, I mean, I got all Vanderbilt and Rockefeller, and you know, when you go back, forget, forget these motherfuckers that don't know what they're doing now. I went, I learned yesterday how ruthless business is, but how these people came from nothing. I mean, they really did. They came over from wherever they're at, Scotland, whatever. They came over. And that's why I say, you better watch this immigrant shit that you all do. You, you, you want to keep immigrants out, but you are an immigrant too. So when you talk about the country, go back to your country. Bitch, this is not even your country. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I don't care what color you are, what gender you are. You come up in my face and say, go back somewhere. I may slap the fuck out of you, okay? I'm a little bit unstable when it comes to crack. I don't do crack very well. I don't do ignorance very well. I sit out in the sun and I get energy. I do me. I'm an independent military back bitch. I fuck up everybody. Let me blow down my voice because babies are out here. And your voice can sometimes carry. Oh, well, hell. Brats have potty mouth anyway. It's not nothing. But we know how to do that. Seeing as that, when you go to something that's family friendly, you don't expect to hear a bunch of sexy red and bullshit in your music because you know you got kids that you're trying to grow up to be healthy and 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 smart minded but all you hear thug stuff and hoe stuff and suck this and eat this and I'm like no you all and, and that's normalizing so we're supposed to normalize trash we're supposed to normalize trash and we're supposed to kick the good kids back you stand on our backs, you stand on our money, you stand on our energy, and you hold us down, and we're supposed to lift up these clowns. Oh, I plan on knocking you all down. Every single one. Like a bowling ball strike. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my life, and I love it. Works for me. Is, is, is Val going to be traveling this year? Well, who? And why? I'm in therapy. I'm in nature therapy. I'm in chill therapy. You gonna meet someone? You gonna travel? Not hardly. I don't trust none of you motherfuckers. None of you. None of you. Trust me. I'm gonna vet you like the IRS. I'm gonna vet you like the CIA. I'm gonna vet you like the FBI. I'm gonna vet you, period, okay?
And if you come at me the wrong way, I'm going to bet you like the vet. I am going to, uh, what you call it, when they put them down, when they put the animals down? <laughs> I have a variety of ways. I hear Silent Night in my mind all the time and every day. That was a movie, by the way, not just a Temptation song. Which, by the way, if you were in radio, of which I was, professional radio, everybody's a broadcaster now. See, that was it. Everybody's, everybody's a broadcaster. Everybody's got a mag. Everybody's got a podcast. I was on the first podcast, one of the first satellite radio. I really was a pioneer in satellite radio and internet radio. I really was. How about that? I really was, but now they're all pioneers in that. They're all... Everybody's an internet broadcaster. Every broke ass rapper, every wannabe actor, everybody is so easy. Val Jones makes things so easy. It's so easy a caveman can do it. And you wave that stuff in my face. I'm telling you, Scientology people, whoever you are, because that's what you, it seems like you tried to, that's what you tried to base sit off of that type of energy where you fair game and gang stock people and that gang mentality too and I know the government can do that too because I have my own little political views about what's the right and the wrong thing to do nurses kid thank you confirmation as some would say nurses kid when I say you know what some of that shit you're talking is crazy some of that stuff you're saying is dumb by the way when you say you don't have enough vaccines for the emergency workers but you have enough but you're going to make sure that the black and brown people get it Biden, you are not it. Trump ain't it. Biden ain't it. Y'all need a Teddy Roosevelt. I say y'all because I'm out of it. I don't care. I wish I could say Kennedy, but th no, I no, that's not uh, that your 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 uh, your vice presidential choice showed me that you didn't have real presidential goals and you way too much in the narrative of whether it be you know dmt or cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency to a certain degree there's something for that but mainly it's just a lot of scamming going on and a lot of people aren't getting their money see that's not going to save the economy cryptocurrency is not going to save anybody look the main crypto guy is in jail so how do you figure that out it fell look at shark tank guy kevin you got scammed by the crypto. Now, how is it the Shark Tank people are supposed to be geniuses? So how are they so genius? And how the how the bona fide genius that meant to tell was a genius? How the bona fide genius tapped out of that? So I don't feel this. This is I don't I don't I don't feel the tangibility in this. I see what you're saying, but mm -mm. there was some missing. Uh, Oh, and the sun just got brighter over me. Val is bringing the light, see, but y'all don't want to hear it because y'all are basing a lot of stuff on cryptocurrency and money that you'll never see. It's going to come, it's going to come. It's like religious people. You just got to keep praying. You just got to keep praying. And then you, instead of actually getting up, getting your ass and doing something or coming up with your real skill, you would rather pay some tarot ho or some astrology ho who's really scamming you for real. The morning dove trying to find this other morning dove. I'm right here, baby, with love. But you know what? What I know? I give you this energy and these lessons for free, but you will pay the hoe. You reap what you sow. That's all I got to say. Anyway, I'm going to sit and enjoy the day. Yeah. As I'm grounding, I got more paperwork to do. But I'm feeling, by the way. By the way, I suggest you get some of your people in the VA. Because you're dealing with soldiers and veterans who are dealing with a whole bunch of stress outside the stress outside the stress. And what I was saying is you got people making decisions who've never fought a day in their life. They do not understand military life. They just sit on their fat little flabby asses or their skinny little church lady flabby asses and think that, you know, they, they, they're they the little gatekeepers, okay? But these people are real are being pushed in a variety of ways that you have no idea about. And you wave therapy in their face knowing goddamn well that they can't get therapy like that. It is that. It is the pushback that I'm warning you right now. I, Robot is not a movie in military life. These people are not robots, and they are trained to fight. And when you are dealing with a legion that doesn't look at colors or gender or even pretenders, 
they look at either you with us or you're not. It's a right or wrong code. It's a moral code. Trust me, they will not protect the thoughts and the thugs and the hoes. And they will not let you turn their children into those. Y'all fucking up. And that includes the people in the VA who keep wanting to push people and just snatch back their benefits, okay? Because somebody in Hollywood said they'd give you a little pay. You're going to pay for that. You say you believe in God? Well, I got I got news for you. God does not believe in frauds. But you'll find out. Because this is a sad in return for the whole world. It's not just here. It's not just in Cali. It's, every, it's the whole wide world. The whole wide world is going to go through something over the next couple of years. And if you're really in alignment, have no fear. But if you're not, oh yeah. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Anyway. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy today. That's all I got to say. Val Jones therapy talk. Truth talk too. And it costs you nothing. But were you tied to me? They never did. astrology person, especially those who, I kill all you guys, it's me, I created everything, bitch, you're nuts, look at their boxes that they're in, boxes, and look at me, hey, well, you been in it's so cool how that tree just kind of bends like that. Like, I hear you. Anyway, that's that. Have a deserved day. Val Jones at play. And her happy, happy place, Caesar, is home.